All right, we need to teach you how to calculate theoretical density for any arbitrary crystal structure. You know the formula for density. It's mass divided by volume. We're going to do a slight variation on that. It's still mass divided by volume, but we're going to think about it in terms of atoms, right? So the formula is rho equals Z times MW divided by VC times NA. What is Z? Z is the number of atoms or molecules per unit cell, right? There's a difference there. We're going to show you the example. MW is the molecular weight of the atom or the molecule, okay? VC is the unit cell volume, and NA is Avogadro's number, right? So let's do an example of this for gold. The density of gold is something like 19.3 grams per centimeter cubed. How do you know that? Well, let's assume that this is gold here, right? Gold is FCC. The molecular weight of gold is 196.96. The radius of a gold atom, a metallic radius, is equal to 1.44 angstroms, okay? So let's go ahead and plug this in. How many atoms are there per unit cell for an FCC lattice? There are four, so the density is going to be equal to four multiplied by the molecular weight, 196.96 grams per mole. We're going to divide this by the volume. The volume is going to be equal to the lattice parameter cubed. What's the lattice parameter equal to? Well, we know that the lattice parameter, that this is square root of 2 times the lattice parameter, and it's equal to 4 of our radii. So the lattice parameter itself is going to be equal to 4 times the radii, right, times 1.44 angstroms, divided by root 2, and we're going to cube that. And then we're going to multiply this by Avogadro's number, so 6.023 times 10 to the 23 per mole. That way we get rid of the per mole from the molecular weight. Okay. The only catch here is remember that this, going from angstroms into centimeters, because we want this in grams per centimeter cubed, means that you need a times 10 to the negative 8th there. Okay. So let's punch that into the calculator and see what we get. Sure enough, I come to a value of 19.35 grams per centimeter cubed. So sure enough, that's how you go about using theoretical density calculations. Now that was for a simple scenario where it's FCC and it's just uh, one type of atom. How would this work if we were doing something a little harder? What about rock salt? Here's the crystal structure of rock salt. We've seen it before. It looks just like FCC, except it's got an additional FCC lattice from the other ion that's present, right? So we're going to set this up the exact same way, right? First off, we need to figure out what is our lattice parameter, A, in terms of sodium and chlorine ions. So I looked up the values of those, their radii. Sodium, its ionic radius is 1.02 angstroms. So um, one half of A is equal to RC plus RA. And that's equal to uh, 1.02 angstroms plus 1.81 angstroms, right? When we plug those in, we find out that the lattice parameter for rock salt is equal to, I get that it's about 5.66 angstroms. So let's go ahead and set up our equation now. Density is going to be equal to Z. Z, let's do it on a per formula basis, right? So there are four formula units per unit cell. I know that there's eight atoms, but let's think of it as a formula. There are four formula units. We're going to multiply that by the molecular weight of the formula, not the individuals. So the molecular weight of the formula is going to be sodium plus chlorine. Sodium is 22.99. Chlorine is 35.45. Those have the units of grams per mole. We're going to divide this by 5.66 times 10 to the negative eighth centimeters, right, converting angstroms to centimeters. We're going to cube that because we need a volume and multiply it by Avogadro's number, 6.023 times 10 to the 23, and that's per mole. Let's plug these into a calculator and see how close we get. I come to a density of 2.14, which is pretty dang close to the value of 2.16 that I find in literature. So that's how you go about doing theoretical density calculations, either for a metal where it's just one element or for a formula that exists inside a unit cell. It works either way. That's theoretical density.